Antonio Guterres is calling for governments around the world to actually censor citizens when citizens speak out against the ideology that the United Nations is pushing on climate change specifically. And this, this is what he said. He said, I have a special message for fossil fuel producers and their enablers scrambling to expand production and raking in monster profits. If you cannot set a credible course for net zero with 2025 or 2030 targets covering all your operations, you should not be in business. Your core product is our core problem. We need a renewables revolution, not a self-destructive fossil fuel resurgence. Does that give you the chills? You should not be in business. The UN Secretary General tells fossil fuel companies if they can't eliminate, eliminate all carbon emissions in the next 2025, that's two years from now. And if anyone dissents from this climate crisis narrative, he wants governments to censor those citizens. So let's back up for one second. Let's back up and talk about the climate crisis, so-called climate crisis. Just assume for the remainder of this show that when I say climate crisis, I'm putting it in quotation marks. It's what they call it, but that's not, that's not the reality of what it is. So let's back up for a second. First of all, when it comes to this impending climate catastrophe that we've been told uh, we've been told is, is imminent, none of the predictions from these people, whether it's the United Nations, whether it's Al Gore, whether it's Greta Thunberg, whether it's AOC, whether it's the World Economic Forum, whatever it might be, none of these predictions have come true. We have been told for over 50 years that our, our globe, our Earth, our planet is about to face imminent destruction. We've been told that we're going to all of the polar ice caps are going to melt. We've been told that polar bears are going to go extinct. We've been told that entire countries are going to be submerged and go, go completely disappear from existence based on uh, the, rising, the rising water level, sea level. We've been told that there's going to be 50 million climate refugees that flood the West. We've been told that people are going to start cannibalizing each other because there's going to be global food shortages because of climate change. All of these unbelievably catastroph catastrophic, apocalyptic predictions have not happened. We've been told that US cities on our coasts would fall off, that they, that they would be submerged in water, that they would not exist anymore. None of these predictions since the 1970s through the 1980s, the 1990s, the 2000s, the 2010s, now we're in the middle of the 2020s, and these predictions have not come, come true. So th this is baseline for how we should view the adrenaline and the scare tactics that are coming from the left. When they tell us that a crisis is coming, well, they've told us that a hundred times before and it hasn't happened a hundred times. So their track record is not very good. So we should give, give pretty serious pause before we take their word for it this time. And that's an important part of this because taking their word for it, if we don't take their word for it, their word is the premise, this, this scare tactic, this urgency, this, cl this climate catastrophe is the premise that necessitates or that they claim necessitates all of their political agenda items. Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.